So what's up you guys, welcome to another video of this SBA Design YouTube channel. I'm Shaquille Feldberg and in this video I thought it would be good for me to kind of take the time out to um, explain the variable intake, um, air intake loop. And I thought it might be a good idea to explain why I um, made the variable link intake runners for the engine. So here we go. So as you can see right now we have these um, kind of trumpet like shapes and everything. And just like on a trombone or any, um, how you call it, flute or whatever, just uh, that type of instrument, um, you can kind of change the sound by or changing the pipe lengths or uh, closing off areas for air to come in and flow through and everything. And that is how you kind of change the sound. But on the engine, you can kind of use the same philosophy to change the frequency to allow more air to flow through or less air to flow through. So by changing the length of this intake runner like so and not fully extended because in this way it doesn't really do anything anymore but by changing the length from let's say the base of it right here to kind of lengthen it up to all yeah kind of like this height you can change the way air flows through so the at which velocity with what pressure and all that type of stuff will kind of vary with the length and all that. So, um, at different RPM and with a different position where you put your throttle pedal and everything, if all those things come together, you can get actually more air in than you would in a normal situation. So, it would kind of act like uh, some sort of a turbocharging effect. You can get more air, the, the, it will get, um, it will be able to retract more air from. Uh, uh, atmospheric air pressure situation than it would be in a normal situation if that makes any sense and at the same time uh, also you can see this big air intake so we can kind of close out there there will be a very high velocity air channel that will be flowing through in this duct right here into the air intake and as you can see that small channel if, if you take another section fuel so this will be the main, the way it will look, if you just focus on this circle right here. So as soon as the air flows in, this will be the surface it will meet. And as soon as it kind of ends up right here, you will see that the space becomes larger and larger and larger and larger. And at some point it will go through a pretty big open area for the flow, air to flow through. And the big benefit of that is that air kind of works in, let's start over, the, the way airflow works and just energy works is it doesn't, nothing loses energy, energy only transmits from one form to another. So if you have a very high airflow that has a lot of energy as in velocity, it will lack energy in pressure. But if you take that velocity away by opening the area out so that the air kind of has a lot more um, resistance of just a bigger area to flow through and everything that uh, energy will be translated into pressure instead of velocity so because the area becomes way bigger the air will have a lot more space to flow through the velocity will drop and therefore the pressure will increase if that makes sense I think that's the best explanation I've given so far so that high pressure air will then come into uh, these trumpets and then with the variable intake length runners and everything we will get the optimum um, air suction into the piston into the cylinder and we can put as much fuel as we have oxygen in the cylinder to burn it and that will give us maximum horsepower so right here as you can see there will be some sort of a belt drive that will kind of control a lot so the motor oil and uh, the water pump and everything will be connected through this pump right here but we also have the air pressure pump as I said and it will kind of guide air to this tank and from this hose right here we will be able to channel that pressurized air in towards this air intake manifold system and we will be able to increase the air pressure in here so that the engine will be able to um, breathe in more air burn more fuel, produce more horsepower, so that will kind of be some sort of a supercharging effect, if you will. And um, that is basically everything that I'm doing. With the suspension I will also use the air intake, 
of this this um, pressurized air tank for to use uh, kind of lower heights and everything. But that is for a later video when I'm actually also building the suspension. So uh, thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'm Shakil Feldbaum. This is SK Design. I'm out.